and uh, welcome back to Stash Bash. This is the April prompt um, and we have five individual challenges within April's prompt. We normally have four, this month we have five. Um, and I, uh, the first one is to um, simply to use a collection pack. Now, I have chosen a collection pack to use and I plan to use it for all of my five April layouts. Um, I've chosen Lucky Charm, a dear Lizzie one. Um, it's um, a collection pack rather than a paper pad and it contains 18 sheets of double sided paper um, and a packet of thickers. Um, it's quite uh, a large kit, 18 double sided papers is quite a lot, um, especially as they're all different. Quite often collection packs only contain 12 or 9 sheets of paper, so this one is quite big. So I know that I will get more than 5 layouts out of this um, pack, but for the purposes of today's video um, and for the April prompt, I'm, I'm aiming just for the 5. Um, I've been through the kit already, you can see the front sheet there, um, and there's, there's, there's the thickers in there, and these are all the sheets of pen and paper, and I'll say there's absolutely tons of them. Um, some of them, like this bold floral, I'm not that keen on, but I do like the stripe on the back. Um, on the whole, I like working with a collection pack, it really makes things easy because most of the papers coordinate with each other. Um, I don't have any um, embellishments to go with this kit and there's none in the collection pack apart from the thickers which are just black so they are not um, anything particularly special um, so I'm to say, going to stick with what is in the pack and I will add some embellishments too but I'm not planning to add any other paper products at all apart from Project Life cards. I always add those. Um, so when I'm faced with a collection pack um, like this, well, the first thing I do is I tend to go through the papers and I pick out my favourites um, and I choose um, and I pick out which ones I plan to use as background. So I've already done that. I think I said I'm aiming, I'm aiming for five. I think I've done five here. So I've, I've just pulled out the photos that I want to scrap. I may not do all three of these, but they're all from the same thing, so I pop them against that background and that, that works. So that will be one. This will be another. Oh, I think I planned to do a double here. I did this a couple of days ago, which is why I think I've forgotten what I'm doing. Um, so I plan to do a I plan to do a double there of all these pictures of the kiddies at the park. Um, something like that kind of arrangement, maybe the way around. That does plan to somehow be a double. Then I've got a picture of me. And even though I said I don't like this uh, flowery paper, what well, I thought I might do, because there's so many papers in the collection pack and I'm, I am trying to stash bash after all, um, is to perhaps use this as my background but have the dark floral um, as an outline. Um, I'd quite often gut the centre so that I could use it um, somewhere else. We'll, we'll see if I... Um, I do do that, I may well do, or I might not because I say I'm stash bashing. That's number three. Um, this one is number four. Love that background, I think that's probably my favourite piece of paper in the whole collection. Um, and then we've got Red Stars, um, which goes quite nicely with those photos there. What have I been up to? That's three, I forgot, I forgot, lost count. One, two, three. That's four, that's five. So this would be six. So uh, as I say, I am only aiming for five, but it looks like I've already picked out six. Um, there's quite a number of photos here. I definitely won't use all of them. I'll just pick out the best ones. Um, but I'll, I'll put, use them like, on this sheet here. Um, so that's that's generally where I start. Um, I pick out my favourites um, that I want to use as backgrounds and um, pull out some photos to go with them. So now I've got my well, six layouts. Um, okay, so um, like I said, uh, so what I generally do is I start off by looking at my favourite sheets of paper and putting photos against them and working out roughly what my layouts are going to be. So this is this is as far as I've got. I've literally pulled out papers and pulled out photos and I say I've got six layouts there ready to go. Um, and I say I won't add any more pattern paper. I'm just going to work with what's in this in here. Um, I've got a crazy stripe there, I love that on the back though. Um, could cut that up, but I probably, because I love the back so much, I'll probably um, keep it um, whole. 
and then use pieces of it. So I've got that one. I might cut that one up into blocks. The jars, which I really love, but I'm just not quite sure what to do with them. I wonder if I can do something where uh, I put tiny photos on a few of them. I don't know. I think. Um, or I might cut it up. Use them as embellishments. That one, don't like the horses. I do like the blue. Envelopes, so cute. Don't know what I'll do with those. Pink ombre, love that. Uh, Zig tag. And anchors. Just blue on pretty at the top there. And yellow heart. I'm sure I've used that somewhere before. Um, stripe. And then this one is a like a journaling cards um, one. I will definitely cut that up into uh, the, the pieces um, there. Okay, so that's the first challenge, um, is to use a collection pack to do all of your April layouts or just to choose a collection pack and um, make several layouts from it. Um, the second challenge is to pick out some embellishments that will go with and try to stick to those and only those when you're making your layouts. Um, I find that when I've got loads and loads of choice, um, it takes me forever to um, pick out what I want to use. Uh, so I find if I'm more limited, I do better and make things quicker. Um, I already have a set of thickers that I'm trying to get used up, so I've just pulled out a few from there that will go with. Oh, those are the same. So those have several packets of those. Trying to get those used up. And gold, turquoise, and more turquoise. And I've pulled out some small ones as well in a variety of neutrals and colours. So I've got those picked out. I'm not allowed, not allowing myself to go diving back into my thicker stuff. I have to use these as a first port of call. I guess if I can't spell a word and I really need a different colour, then I would probably do that. But that's the plan is to use these ones. Um, and then I have Project Life cards. I've already got a small set um, on the go. Um, so I probably will just keep these nearby. I won't necessarily pull out cards right now. Um, I'll just pull them out per layout. But I have this set that is set that I'm trying to use up now. It's not a particular set as in from one collection. It's uh, just a random mix of cards all in one bag. And I regularly dip into it to try and use up some from in there. do feel like it never goes down. <laughs> Maybe I replenish. And then I have my bags of embellishments that I'm working on using for all of my Sash Bash layouts. Goodness me, there's millions of them. So it does take me for every time I do a layout, it takes me forever to go through these these massive bags and find out what is worth what will work with a layout. So I'm hoping to avoid doing that. Um, and just pull out a load of embellishments now and then I will hopefully stick to those and only those for all of my layouts. So I will have some repetition but I'm good with that. So, okay. Trying to use those, that big doily would go rather well. I'm not sure about how they're handsome. I've got a little flare badge in there, it's possibly the wrong colour green. Yes it is. Uh, so I'm going to that out but this little set here I will keep out to try and use. Blair there, wood veneer stars, trying to use those, and I've got some wood veneer words that I'm in danger of getting broken if I don't use them soon. I keep falling out in my pouches. That one's already broken, should say hello. So I shall try and use those too. I have one brad left there on that selection that says me and i have a photo of me so i can possibly use that um, i've got a very bright um transparency there that says life is always better with a smile i'm trying to use that for ages so i'll put that in this little kit too
Okay, I've pulled out loads of stuff here. Um, definitely way more than I will ever really need. Um, but now that I've got it, um, it means that I will stick to it. I'm going to put it all in a little pouch. Um, it's not all going to fit, clearly. Um, but I'm going to put most of it all together in a small pouch. And then that, that will be my go-to pack of embellishments for all of these layouts. Okay, that's my kit sorted. Um, now I guess I better get on with making a layout. Um, okay, I'm going to start with um, this layout here. So, so far, as you can see, I have only got a red background. Um, I have three photos. Um, when I am faced with basically three photos of exactly the same thing, I have to ask myself, do I really need all three photos to show what we were doing? And the answer is definitely no. Um, they're all basically the same photo, so I could keep that one. And then, do I keep another one? Not sure, quite like the idea, I'm going to call it Penguin Parade, so I quite like the idea of having uh, multiple photos um, on there. Um, so it should be this way around, if that's what I'm doing. I don't think I want three of them, I think I'll just stick with the one. And then I will actually bin those other two photos, by the way. Some people can't bear to do that, but I'll have to be strict with myself because I have so many. I also don't edit before I get them printed. So, um, the predominant colour in this layer is obviously red. So, what have I got in my journaling cards? Quite a few bits that I could even use there. Um, and then I've also got my papers that I haven't um, used yet that aren't allocated for backgrounds. So I quite like that kind of colour with to go with it. I also like the anchors. Red in the other papers, so um, there are, but they're allocated. So I'm going to stick with what I've got. I like so awesome. having a large layer. There's a lot of background paper on show. So I like to separate that by having a large paper layer. Okay, and that's the basis of the layout um, done really. Um, I will have a look at my other journaling cards to see if there's anything that I can use in here. Um, 
Again, when I'm looking through these, I'm mainly looking at colour. It's quite sweet. Okay, there's not a lot of red in these, so I'll be looking at adding tones of the turquoise or grey, maybe. Uh, or cream. Right. I quite like the I Heart Family card. I might pop that in at the top somewhere like that. There we go. Right, okay. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get that stuck down and uh, pop back to. Um, I'll add a title as well and I will um, add, come back to answer embellishments. I've just realised my arrow is pointing this way, so I should probably sort this round and have it this side instead of that side. Um, just needs a little bit of tweaking. Okay, so I may end up with something like that instead. Okay, I'm going to go and get that stuck down and then I will come back to add my embellishments. Okay, so I've got everything stuck down now. Um, I'm going to, um, I don't like how it's all two, just two colours. So it's red and it's this greeny colour. Um, so I'm going to introduce some yellow. There's a little bit of tiny yellow text in this um, little uh, card here. So I'm going to add some yellow washi tape to give, my, give it a bit of a um, Oops, a bit of interest, and I'm going to put a bit here. I'm going to add, just mark out basically my three areas of embellishment, really. Um, so I plan to embellish there and here, and then maybe, maybe a little tiny bit up there. I was thinking about going maybe up to the top, but I'm thinking maybe. I think that, that would be better. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. That brightens it up a little bit. Um, and that way I can introduce some of the gold embellishments that I've got um, picked out already. I think I was going to put some stars on. Okay, so I'm just going to finish off with some enamel dots. Um, I've got these darker green ones and these ready pinky ones. Um, they both go fairly well with the layout. The green is not exact, but... Um, it's close enough that I'm happy with it. So I'm just going to dot those um, around again, my around my three embellishment clusters. So I'm going to leave that one there. Um, I'm happy with uh, what I've got. I do need to add some journaling, but I'll do that in uh, just a moment um, off camera. And uh, the challenge this month is to pick a collection pack and use it. Um, try to stick to just what's in the collection pack in terms of papers and then add, um, put out a whole bunch of embellishments that you think will go, will go with it. And then stick to that, um, the collection pack all the papers and the embellishments that you've chosen to go with I've also picked out some thickers too um, and work with just that um, and see if it makes it easier for you to create a whole bunch of layouts um, okay well thank you very much for watching and I will see you next month